uh, can you tell me how you got interested in the aspect of children and heart disease and cholesterol? Well, actually, my interest in heart disease began with a family history of my own. My dad had died at 57 of a coronary. Both his brother and sister have uh, the same disease. At 35, I had a heart attack and bypass. At 41, I had a second bypass. That led me to a real investigation of ways to get cholesterol under control, since cholesterol was the culprit. I was able to do so very well for myself, and then just very uh, recently after my second bypass, I had my son tested. Ross's level at age seven was already elevated, and I realized that something had to be done. I went back to the literature and found out that, in truth, America is sitting on a bit of a time bomb in terms of our children. You know, most people think that heart disease is a disease of 40, 50, 60 year olds. But what you're talking about is the disease of little kids. Let's talk specifically. I mean, actual foods that raise cholesterol. The foods that raise cholesterol the most are the saturated fats. Those are the ones found in butter fat, cheese, whole milk, ice cream, red meat. Uh, we also see it in coconut oil, some of the hidden oils that are used in shortening, coconut oil, palm, palm kernel oils. Those are highly saturated, but also the actual cholesterol in food, in egg yolks and so forth, the animal foods, all of these raise cholesterol levels. And we really should make a concerted effort to bring those down in our diets. Common advice, Bob, is to switch from red meat to chicken and fish. Lots of Americans are doing it. Actually, how much cholesterol are they getting when they switch from red meat to chicken and fish? The cholesterol content isn't that far off. It'll be just about the same within a reasonable number of milligrams. The difference is in the saturated fat. So the recommendation is quite uh, prudent to cut back on the amount of red meat. Doesn't mean you have to eliminate it entirely, but cut it back considerably. Replace it with fish, with uh, chicken, with poultry of all sorts. Uh, definitely go into some of the dried beans and peas. Go back to some of the old traditional ways of cooking, lentil soups, split pea soups, those delicious barley stews and so forth, because those foods not only don't raise cholesterol, they actually lower it. Bob, how about parents who don't want to feed their kids turkey and chicken? They have health concerns about these foods. What about those parents? Are they doing all right? I think that's per perfectly fine. It's a, it's a matter of finding what fits you. And I address the issue of the vegetarian diet, for example, within the book. I think it's a very healthful way of living. Uh, for those who want to do so, it's a wonderful way to stay healthy and happy for the rest of your life.